Let's talk a little bit about the orbits. Genesis orbits are orbits that are orbiting the Earth and orbits at 20,000 kilometers height, right, from the Earth's surface. This is what we call the MEO orbits, medium Earth orbits, okay? Then from the Earth center is something like 26,500 kilometers for the GPS constellation. We'll see the details later on, but for me it's very important after this training you to acquire at least the order of magnitudes of everything. This will be a real a real a progress already. Okay? These satellites at 20,000 kilometers are orbiting more or less at 3.3 kilometers per second. This is for the, let's say, the, the MEO orbit satellite, but we have also these regional constellations, they are not only using this MEO orbit satellite at 20,000 kilometers, they are using as well geostationary satellites for positioning, and they are using what we call IGSO satellites, which are geosynchronous satellites. Both satellites are those that have a period of 24 hours. The geostationary is one of these in a point fix in an equator latitude, and the others have an inclination. Uh, well, but with, with a period of 24 hours. And you can see, for example, in the, in the, in the right hand corner of the screen, you have the, the footprints of the satellite GSO trying to optimize the positioning in the areas where we want. For example, in Japan or in India, whatever. Okay. That's why we have global satellites. But then we add some IGSO satellites or geo satellites to make sure that we have more satellites in my region. I want to optimize or maximize the performances. Then, for example, if we focus on GPS and Galileo, okay, we'll have uh, more or less 24, 27 satellites, plus Sirius 3 spurs. This is the number of satellites we are planning. The difference between GPS and Galileo, we have six planes, orbital planes in GPS, three orbital planes in Galileo. The orbit altitude is 3,000 kilometers higher in Galileo. And it means at 3,000 higher, they are slowing down. I mean, they are uh, a speed which is lower than the in GPS. Uh, both of them, the orbits are 55, 56 degrees of inclination, which is more or less the same inclination in both. And the period, this is very important you to keep in mind, is the, that the GPS have a period of 12 hours. Then one satellite takes 12 hours to take to make a turn of their Earth. What does it mean? It means that every one day, one receiver will see the same satellite in the same point. We have in 24 hours, two turns of the satellite. Then from our receiver in Madrid, in Munich or wherever, that have a satellite, he will see him 24 hours later. It's not exactly 24 hours. It's 24 or one day sidereal day, which is 23 hours and 56 minutes. Then it's like 24 hours, less to four minutes. Then. This is very uh, very interesting because it means that the global GPS constellation is repeatable every 24 hours. Then you will find exactly the same satellites with the same geometry every day. In the case of Galileo, the period is a little bit higher because they are higher in the altitude. It's 14 hours, 4 minutes and 45 seconds. This is the period of a satellite for making a, a whole turn of a Galileo satellite. But in this particular case, we don't have this property of repeatability. The constellation will be repeated or repeatable every 10 days. It means that our receiver will have to wait for 10 days to have the same satellites in the same position as in 10 days before. Yes? But there is a particular property in the Galileo system is that even if the same satellites are being in the same place 10 days later, they have a re repetitivity of the geometry every 2.7 days. What does it mean? That every 2 days and uh, 2.7 days, we'll have the same geometry from a, from a receiver, even though they, uh, the, the, the satellites are not the same as before. You can have uh, the same geometry, but with different satellites. In order to have the same satellite, you will have them 10 days later. Then geometry is repeatable every two days and, uh, and seven, 2.7, but the global uh, constellation is repeatable every 10 days. This is important because when we are trying to qualify a system or trying to uh, to understand uh, every single geometry of Galileo, usually we have we need to have scenarios, very long scenarios, to make sure that we are covering all the geometries possible, right? In the GPS, with a few days, it's okay because we are already covering all the geometries. For example, the Galileo, this is more or less the distribution of the satellites of Galileo. As you see in the, in the green points, they are the planes, the orbital planes, which is uh, then you have eight, eight satellites 
per plane with three planes. And if you remember, I don't know if you heard about, we had two additional satellites that are the, the orange one, which has the satellites that were uh, put in another orbit and that we cannot use them, in fact, today. Then we have two satellite, uh, Galileo satellites that are not in the right orbit because if you remember the launcher, the, the Soyuz launcher, launcher put in another orbit and we cannot use them today in the operational system. <laughs>